Hello and welcome back to Focus Atlanta. Again, I'm your host, Keisha Lance Lynn. Thanks so much for continuing to watch. We're gonna close out the show with something exciting. Well, you know, it's always exciting when I'm talking about the College Football Hall of Fame, but it's not just a place we're talking about today. Today, we're talking about some opportunities. I'm here with Kimberly Bowden. It's so good to see you again. Thanks for coming back on the show. No, thank you for having me. I love being here and I can talk about the hall all day. So. <laughs> And, you know, most of us could be at the hall all day. We could listen about the hall all day. It's such an amazing gift to the city. Um, but in addition to just being a gift to the city, you guys are giving out gifts as well. Well, we feel like it's important to our mission. So absolutely. I don't think a lot of people realize we're a nonprofit. And so, you know, it is our mission to give back as much as we celebrate the game. Absolutely. And in this particular case, you are giving back to um, HBCU students. Um, that's amazing. Tell me a little bit about it. Yes. So we partnered with um, Kia. Um, they have a program called Accelerate the Good, and um, they've been a partner with us since day one. And together, we came up with an idea to provide scholarships specifically to HBCU students. Um, we have a very robust HBCU exhibit in the building celebrating um, you know community leadership opportunity all the things that hbcus stand for and this is just an extension of that with our partner kia oh my goodness well again i'm a little biased being a graduate of howard university you know i love it i'm like over the moon because i think that sometimes um the smaller schools like hbcus like you know some other independent colleges and universities don't get the shine that maybe some of the bigger schools get or some of the you know more majority schools get but with these type of initiatives they get their chance to shine too they get their chance to shine and a, a lot of the hbcu student athletes especially um, do not get full rides and so the ability to provide some additional funding to these students so that they can continue their journey as a student athlete at the same time they're getting their education is really important to us. We believe that the life lessons learned, um, obviously by playing college football, but just being a student athlete in general um, will carry you far and we can help a student do that. That's important. Absolutely. Um, to that end, have they already missed the deadline? If there are some students watching going, oh my gosh, I didn't know that this was an opportunity. What's the timeline like for these uh, HBCU um, scholarships? We are taking nominations through uh, the end of May, so, or applications, yes. So, oh. and the application can be found on our website, HBCU scholarship. That is phenomenal. Now, the mm -hmm. other question I have, again, because we're kind of lucky here in Georgia. I, I, I feel like the College Football Hall of Fame is, you know, our, our personal little, you know, hot spot. Um, but is this for people, for students who are at HBCUs out of the state of Georgia? Can they be students anywhere? Absolutely, from across the country. Oh, oh my gosh. The way you guys <laughs> have opened this up is just yeah. amazing. So It's a national program. You know, we represent 770 schools that play college football across the country. Um, you know, yes, we are Atlanta's gym and we're so very proud to be located here, but we represent everyone um, that has a college football program. Oh my goodness, I, yeah, I love that. Because again, we're spoiled, right? Because mm -hmm. you're right in our backyard, we get, to, we get to come as often as we want, and just, you know, to see all the new exhibits, all the new things that are popping up. But when an opportunity like this arises, people, you know, that's one of the first questions, you know, would I be eligible because I'm in school in Alabama? And the answer is yes. I mean, Absolutely. that's huge, that's huge for what you're you know, providing to these students for this opportunity. It's huge to be seen in a lot of ways. You know, that was one of the first things that I loved about the College Football Hall of Fame. Like when I walked in and I saw my college's helmet, mm -hmm. there, there was a sense of pride, right? Like I just felt seen, even though again, I went to Howard University, which isn't you know, one of the hugest colleges out there, um, but I felt seen and, and you guys do that for students every day. Yeah. I, and you know, we do, um, it's really fun when somebody says, there's no way you have my helmet up there. And we're like, um, yeah, we have you looked up there? Yes, we do. Um, so people, people still don't believe we have every single college helmet for every four year program on that wall, so. I love it, I love it. I, I was gonna ask that question and, and you answered it right off. I, I, I assumed that there were people like, oh, I'm sure my college isn't up there, but you look and. Yeah. yeah. It sure, is, it sure is. If I was um, a betting woman, I'd be rich. No. <laughs> exactly, 
<laughs> Kimberly, thanks so much for coming back on the show. Thanks so much for this opportunity for our students because it's these type of things, that, again, help them to feel seen and help them to move on to the next level. It, it fills the gaps in a lot of ways, some ways you'll, you'll hear about and some that you don't even know about. So thank you. Well, no, thank you for having me and you know, like, giving me an opportunity to brag on the program. And I just also have to say the Hall of Fame turns 10 in Atlanta this August. Um, so there'll be a lot more exciting news coming soon. Oh, then I'm going to get my plug in now. Does that mean you can come back around August and give I us would some I love to. I would love to. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. It's always good to see you. You too. Thank you again. Absolutely. All right. You heard it from Kimberly. She's going to be back. She's going to be back to hang out with us and give us some more details about everything that's coming up at the end of the summer. Um, guys, again, it's, it's our little gym, right? We're lucky to have it here all the time, but the benefits can spread all around all across the country. So take the opportunity to go to the website, learn more about the College Football Hall of Fame. And thanks guys for tuning in to this week's episode of Focus Atlanta. I hope to see you next Sunday here on WETA.